Hey everyone, welcome back to Mom of Five Budgets. In today's video, we are going to be doing an unboxing and demo um, video from this like, um, we I forgot what it's called, but it's uh, like a hole punch. It has like 15 pieces in it. I did about what, like three or four days ago and I did not want to waste no time to show you guys. I took a little time, but I was like, let's go down and do this unboxing and demonstration. We are going to be unboxing this um, punch board and it's from the brand We Are Memory Keepers. And the kit includes a planner punch board with adjustable punches, disc, punch inserts spiral punch inserts and then it is um it says here punch holes for any planner it's a 15 piece let's go ahead This is everything. Here's a receipt. I'm a, after I do this video, I'm gonna have to read it. Um, and then, oh, this is like a paper size information. So if you wanna have like a Mambi Mini, a Mambi Classic, Mambi Big. So we're gonna keep that. And then here's some more inserts and then this is the like punch board and then in the back there's like directions now let me show you guys all of the little bottom pieces these right here are the same so you guys see the shape and they're all the um they're like color coordinated i guess this one is like the regular circle punch hole Oh, did I miss one? Oh, yeah. So you get five regular size punch holes. So this one comes in three. And it looks more for like a disc bound, which is cool. So we've got that one. And now um, that, let me, I believe you're supposed to just light it to, to take it off, but. Oh, okay. So either up or down. There you go. Okay, so the next set is this one. And it looks the same as the previous one. I don't know. You guys tell me. To me, it kind of looks the same. Like the brown, like this, what is it? Like dark green color. And this pink they kind of look the same so you guys tell me it looks the same so it, that's the next color set that's here these right here let me take it off again so this square one like this square brown color brownish color is looks like this and this one comes with three so you don't have to do one at a time and it's like small, probably like small spiral ones, like the school notebooks. I believe this one would be good for those. And this pretty teal color is square. And this is this one is perfect for like two of these binders that I have here. So this is the next color. The last one is this pink one and it comes with four smaller circles the other one yeah so this one comes with four small circles and then this one was like two big squares and then this one was three squares but it's like this you see this circle is a little bit bigger than this one which is cool so that's all 15 of them 
and we are going to be trying all of them on pieces of paper. I'm gonna use a regular size piece of paper just to do the, just as a demo. And then I'm gonna, once I get the hang of it, I'm gonna do the inserts, like one insert for my binder. So we're gonna do the square one, which will be for my, um, like, this is like my regular weekly planner. If you wanna go see the unboxing, I'll leave it in the cards and in the description for you guys to go check it out. And for this one, and I'm gonna use this one. So right here, there's like, you see that little piece that's sticking out? That's how you're gonna insert it so in the middle. Hold on, you're gonna try to align it with the middle. There you go. And then right here it says center. So that's where I'm going to line it up. Now I'm gonna grab my piece of paper and just line it up on the edge. So right here. Line it up. I'll zoom you guys in. So line it up good and then we're just gonna push it down oh and this is how it looks so i'm gonna do this um like maybe halfway so then i can show you like with the others um with the other punches so then now that we've got these uh oh so now that we've got these two punched you see right here, there's like a little picture of the punch style. We're gonna put the last punch just to line it up, just so it could give us our next sets. And I'm sorry if I'm gonna be in the frame, but I want to get it lined up. And then punch it. Now we've got four. Now we're gonna keep doing that until I do a little bit, like a little bit more just to insert it in my planner. Okay, so I got like a little bit, maybe half of the paper like this. So now I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna get my planner and we're gonna do it on Okay, we're gonna do it like put put it in this page right here. And I'm gonna just do the top portion only since you know I didn't do all of it. So now we're just gonna go and just push it in. Like this. So you can literally create any type of planner, like inserts for your planners. Mm -hmm. Push it in. And then now you can like flip the page easily. Look how cool is that? This is like regular paper, but yeah. And then now if you wanna remove it, you just go like the disc bound and they're all perfect. So now we are gonna try, we already tried the square one and it works. Now let's do the, I don't have anything like a disc bound one, but I'll still show you how they hole punch. So we're gonna try the disc bound one and this one is the like medium size. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, we're gonna, this is like a little bit bigger than the other one right here. So we're gonna just 
line it up in the middle again and then like put these right next to it like that and then um uh let's do the side so these three right here they don't have like the little design on the side so um i think with this one you're gonna have to like use measurements um in order to get them you know like perfectly lined up there there are some numbers here that you can use which i'm gonna do and i'm gonna try to get it i'll do 25 so then now we've got that now we we'll go and do that and then now you have made it into a disc bound and then let me try to put it back on 20 that's the thing let's see how close these are from each other And this is how it looks. I don't have a, like I said, I don't have a, like a disc to show you guys, but if you have like the happy planners, this would, this would go perfect in those. And then, so that was that one. We're going to try these pink ones and I'm going to compare and see if the sizes are a little bit bigger or if they're the same. Oh yeah, okay, they're, they are two different um, sizes. So this one right here is like a medium size disc bound and this one is like a small disc um, bound punch hole. <laughs> so that's these. So we've got that one. Now we're gonna go on to like regular punched. I didn't line them up perfectly, but this is how it would sort of look. You see, I put these two kind of too close, but this is how like a three ring um, punch hole looks like for like a three ring binder. So let's do this tiny one first and then see if both of these, you know, would fit into my, um, my budget by paycheck workbook. Do you want to know? So this is how it looks. And now we're going to try to insert it into my, this page right here. So this is how it looks. And like this one, I feel like is too small for this um, spiral. I feel like the smaller circles are better for, you know, like the school notebooks, like the um, spiral notebooks for school, because the, the spirals are uh, more smaller, but it does fit into it, but it is kind of, you know, a little harder to push. So now what we are gonna do is do the bigger circle and then see if it works. Okay, so now that we've got this one, now we're gonna insert it. We're gonna do it right next to the other one just to see how, if the bigger one is better. Okay guys, so I did mess up here because the lines are not lining up. They're like a little off. So it's not lining up. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to get another sheet of paper and I'm gonna kind of line it up with this. Let me go get a pen. 
gonna line the paper is a little like my sheet of paper is a little bit bigger than the the paper in this budget by paycheck workbook so i'm gonna line this up and then just kind of mark it okay it is a little off okay so this i'm gonna have to work on okay let's try this one more time guys so i went off camera to try to make the adjustment so it could fit my budget by paycheck workbook but it has always seemed to be a little off but i know once you tweak it you can get all of them in because i got some in i just gotta get the right measurements to put it let me see they do go in but you see it's like it's my measurement that's not on but once you get the measurement good you are ready to go okay so this first one it fits perfectly in this but you see i don't have no more notebooks that's like perfect condition because this one is like it unwinded and everything but this does go perfectly in here i believe that medium size would go better here let me try <clears throat> you see like none of these are like straight so it doesn't fit okay you see this one does fit in here I'll work with it like off camera and I'm gonna try to line it up and see how that goes and I'll probably put like an update on my community post if I do get like an insert to fit the um, budget by paycheck um, I don't think I have any more different types I wish I had disc bound to show you guys how the disc looks because you can customize it to anything you want so let me show you guys you guys know how the disc mount the disc ones you can customize it so let me just show you guys like a little bit of um let me put this aside you can create any disc style you want like for example let's say you want to do like maybe like that. And then you got that. Let's say you wanna do it like far apart. It's like that. So the spy, um, I think I'm gonna um, purchase some disc bound ones um to do like to follow my saving challenges that i want to do this year all in one and um then i'm gonna obviously work on this to see the measurements if i can get if i can make it with this so if you're someone that has this punch hole and you guys did get um to get the measurements to put it in the budget by paycheck workbook please let me know because i do want to add some stuff here but i know for sure this bound i am going to be using it um to add all of my challenges in there so this is just like a card stock and we're gonna see how how it feels with like a card stock compared to like a um like regular paper so let's just put it right next to each other so this is how it looks on cardstock and it feels 
way better like it's more durable so that's the end of this video guys um i know it was you know a little longer than usual but um i did learn a couple of things and i do have to work with the measurements for so the punch holes could fit my budget by paycheck workbook and i'm pretty sure there are instructions on the back here like they have a three ring album there uh let's see they have a so they have for filofax pocket like the like the paper size and stuff um filofax desk fax filofax a5 um webster's personal recollections um what else um frankly colby daytimer folio heidi swap the the in in sac in stacks I've never heard of that one. And then here it says add your own. You can skip step six. Align center of paper to center line. Maybe that's why it didn't go because I didn't center it. Like I said, I'm still going to work on, you know, I'll figure it out, guys, and I'll keep you guys updated either in my community tab or like another quick video. But this is the unboxing of my planner punches and um the disc bound like i said you guys will be seeing like a diy planner um like disc disc bound planner and um yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching um if you guys have any like suggestions on like measurement wise um let me know um, and I'll get to it. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.